And of course, I'll miss this place. Uh, it's been a very important part of my career. In fact, the time here has coincided with so much that has happened in my life. I wasn't married when I started here. I didn't have any children. Uh, and so much has changed, really, and all for the better. I think I'm literally more intelligent for working at Radio 5 Live. It's such a, an easy and laid-back place to work. You can call them and say, oh, by the way, I need, um, need the next two days off. I forgot to tell you. And they're like, yeah, whatever. Uh, it really is lovely. I remember appearing as a guest on Simon Mayo's show and sitting in the studio thinking, I'd love to do this for a living. Uh, it was then my highest aspiration, and it's been everything that I hoped it would be, and really a lot more. So I'm going to lead a fairly complicated life now, living between L.A. and London and New York, but I will, I will always be a listener to uh, Radio 5 Live. I'll thank the team properly on the podcast in a second. I'm going to mention right now Tracy, Louisa, Louise Burt, Robin, Jonathan Aspinwall, and Johnny Crawford. To the listening community, it's been an honour and a privilege. I'll miss you. To that troll I made the documentary about who was very upset when I replaced Simon Mayo, it is now safe to turn the radio back on. For the final time, bye-bye. <laughs>